Hi guys, place one of your 555 timer ICs into your breadboard. Connect the positive rail with pin 8 of the IC using connecting wire or jumper wires. In my case, I will be using the connecting wire instead so that it could be easier for you guys to see what is going on on the breadboard. And now get another connecting wire and connect your negative rail to pin 1. Connect pin 4 and 8 of your IC using connecting wire. And connect pin 2 and 6 of the IC using connecting wire. Take your 100k ohm resistor and connect it to pin 3 and 6 of the IC. Connect your 100 microfarad capacitor to pin 2 and the negative rail of the breadboard. Place your other 555 timer onto the breadboard. Connect pin 3 of the first IC to pin 8 of the second IC using connecting wire. Connect pin 1 of the second IC to the negative rail using connecting wire. Connect pin 2 and 6 of the second IC using connecting wire. Take your 47k ohm resistor and connect pin 3 and 6 of the second IC. Connect pin 4 to the positive rail using connecting wire.
connect the other 100 microfarad capacitor to pin 2 of the second IC and the negative rail. Connect your red LED into the breadboard like this. Place your yellow LED in parallel with your red LED but the negative lead of the yellow LED in a separate pin. Connect the positive lead of the LEDs with the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect pin 3 of the first IC to the cathode or the negative lead of the red LED using connecting wire and a 330 ohm resistor. First you're going to place the connecting wire and then you're going to con connect your 330 ohm resistor to that connecting wire and in pin 3 of the first IC. Connect the negative lead of the yellow LED to pin 7 of your second IC using connecting wire and a 330 ohm resistor. First you're going to place your connecting wire in, connecting it to the negative lead of the LED, your yellow LED. And then you're going to place your 330 ohm resistor. You're going to connect it to the wire that you just placed in. And then you're going to connect it to pin 7 of your second IC. Place your green LED like this. Wait, connect pin 3 of the second IC to the positive lead of the green LED using connecting wire. Connect the negative lead of the green LED to the negative rail of the breadboard using your 330 ohm resistor. Now 
connect your power supply which is a 9 volt battery the red wire is going to be for positive and then the black is going to be for negative so your red wire you're just going to connect it to the positive rail of the breadboard and then you're going to take your negative wire and you're going to connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard 